Hey everybody, welcome to Fun Friday. And um, for this Fun Friday, it's just completely random facts. So um, grab your pen and paper because you might be tested on this later. So random fact number one right now, I'm kind of hungry, so hopefully this will be really quick because it's 9.40 now and it's almost time for my second breakfast. All right, so um, anyways, uh, so I'm gonna try to wrap up a lot of stuff in here. You see my brain just like turned off and went, uh, and then it turned back on. That happens all the time. So um, first of all, I am coming to the end of my third week with P90X2, right? They do that. I can never get that right because I always want to do like this, you know? Um, so P90X2, my husband and I started it three weeks ago. We've been getting up early every morning and doing that together. Um, it builds a very strong marriage. So, uh, you know, think about it. But I'm coming to the end of week three, and I have to say, even though I'm very hyper in my classes and my boot campers would probably be like, what? I have been so tired this week. This has been my body tired week. And what I mean by that is um, anytime that you start a program, a new fitness program, by week, you know, week one, you're excited. You're like, I'm going to change my whole life, and it's going to be great, and I'm going to lose like 15 inches off my waist, and my kids are going to behave better. And I'm gonna get paid just to walk down the street because I'm gonna look so good. Okay, and so you're excited week one. Week two, you still have a little bit of the motivation and you've got some inspiration because usually week one, for a lot of people, they tend to drop some water weight, you know, just because they're doing something different. Um, and so they see that on the scale for those of you that are sickos and weigh all the time. Um, and then they're like, sweet! And then, you know, week two, you keep going. Well, by week three, your body, is going okay this is stupid i put up with it for a couple of weeks already and i don't want to do it anymore and so it kind of um, you know goes through so this has been my tired body week and uh, it didn't help i did you know trainings over the weekend and and um, i've been practicing a lot of choreography so um you know all of that tired body week still made it through still made it through not because i always tell people don't just make it through it you know conquer it and um, I feel like I've done that. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I do my actual official weigh-in for the first 30 days of, of X2 next Friday. So I will let y'all know how that goes. If, if you tune in and I'm crying, <laughs> no, I'm joking. It won't be like that. It'll be fine. Um, so completely random facts. We've got some more of those. Um, what... <laughs> I debate on what all I'm gonna see Fridays I love because Fridays I get to be incredibly real and I don't have to be you know overly informative or anything um, but another like really random thing for those of you that you know may know but don't really there's always music up here okay there is always a song of some sort and right now I'm doing a lot of hustle choreography. <laughs> so I've got this song over and over again. You know, the Jack and Jill went up the hill, each with a bucket of quarter. Okay, and um, yeah, she's a working girl, working girl. And so anytime you're talking to me, that's that's what's playing in the background. There's always a backbeat to everything that I'm doing. If, even if I'm in class, you know, when I do talks, I hate dead rooms where there's no music because I really do live my life on a 32 count and I love having that because then it just feels like everything flows. You know, I talk to the beat and I, I, you know, converse with people to the beat and I do everything to the beat. Um, and I've been teaching kickboxing for so long and my husband and I joke around because, you know, I could kick anybody's butt to a beat. So, um, as long as I've got some music with me, we're good to go. Um, but I always have choreography, music, all of that going on. And um, then, you know, on top of which I try to, you know, I, I try to learn names. But I'm going to tell you right now, fact about me is uh, when you tell me your name, if we meet um, out and about, I won't know it the first time. Because in all honesty, there's something that goes on in my head. And when somebody says the phrase, my name is, what I hear is, my name is, <laughs> And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. And then I have to ask you like two or three times later, what's your name? Usually by the third time, I'll just promise that I'll remember it. And usually by then I do. Um, but there's, you know, all this stuff. 
I'm in uh, a thing in my small group at church, the 40 Days in the Word, we're learning Bible verses, and I am memorizing them. I'm setting them to music, okay? I'm going to lie. I sing them in my head. Uh, and that comes from when I was in elementary school. I went to a private school, and <laughs> this is so... We were taught our multiplication tables to, to you know, we sang them. You know, two times two is four, four times two is eight, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's how I still will do things. So I, I'm always like singing in my head to try to learn things. And that is also why my children do not like for me to help them with their math homework. They usually just wait for their dad to get home. Because uh, my motto is, when in doubt, sing it out. So <laughs> you can take that one and steal it if you want to. Anytime your day is going kind of wonky, just, you know, sing a song about it. Um, random 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 we are doing severe randomness today so one of the things that i did want to pass along to you is i believe very 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 highly in personal development so personal development is um you're always working to be better not to be perfect i don't want you to confuse the two because they're they're very different but you know to be better in whatever it is you do maybe it's you know maybe you're a manager maybe you own your own business maybe you know, you train people, maybe you don't, maybe you're trying to reach a certain fitness goal that you have, maybe you're just trying to raise your kids, um, but we're always striving, you know, to be better, and personal development is one of the best ways to do that, so I always beg of people, read, 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 if you want to succeed, you have to read, you can sing that out, um, and right now, the book that I'm reading is Entree Leadership by Dave Ramsey, whom I have the utmost respect for, and um, I really love the book, uh, it's a very easy read, because it's funny you know he has some funny punch lines in it and stuff and I highly recommend it especially if you're in a position of leadership by the way moms whether you stay at home whether you work read it it's gonna make a big difference because in all honesty if you have children moms and dads if you have children you're leading them to be better people in the world because I certainly for one don't want my children to be just the same old, same old. You know, I am raising them to, you know, I want them to raise the bar. And um, and my kids, they get it all the time. I picked my son up from track practice the other night and he was just exhausted and he said, oh, you know, I, I can't run the long distances. And then for the next 15 minutes to our next stop, he got the whole long drawn out speech about can't, and the will and you know you can say it's hard but you can't say I can't and blah 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 you know and, and he probably sometimes wishes he just wouldn't tell me anything but this is what I'm trying to do and I'm hoping that it leaks out onto everybody my kids and my husband you know get a lot of the overflow that I'm constantly going through and um, usually they get the first you know cream of the crop right off the top of my head kind of things and we test them out and things like that so just um just knowing that whatever position you're in you are leading you're leading somebody you know you might be leading the cashier at your grocery store or you might be leading the sacker or you might be leading the guy at the gas station or the barista at starbucks where you stop and so it's important and that's one of the reasons why i'm so hyper is because i have this 30-day program that i'm putting together for people to learn how to become the most excellent version of themselves. The best in attitude, mind, body, spirit, all of that. Because there are certain habits that you form that will make that possible. So um, I'm really excited about that. That's on the horizon. And I just want to wish y'all all a very, very happy, happy weekend. I hope that you get everything done that you want to get done even if it's just taking a nap because every once in a while that's totally okay and i hope that you enjoy it and i hope that you go out and be awesome today thanks for watching and have a great weekend